Hello guys Hello mother And welcome to the second top 10 clutches video After a very very long break we're finally back This video should have been out a month ago But sadly I've been struggling to record and edit videos for the past 2 months And I'll do my best to post whenever I get the chance Now if you have a clutch of your own and you want to be featured in the next video Then follow the steps you see on the screen I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started Starting with Rejo from Bangladesh getting pushed by a very sweaty squad with a crazy aim in the early game at farm. This is the first time I feature an incomplete clutch because I think he did very well and he managed to outplay the enemy team but they were so good they didn't give him a chance to breathe and they just kept reviving each other. In number 9 we have drugs from Iran as him and his teammate got pushed by a full squad from the sky right after they landed from the revive flight. Next in number 8 we have Zedox, a 13 years old player from Turkey surrounded by a full squad in a small house near the end of the game. In number 7 we have Eleven from Nigeria, getting pushed by a very angry squad. It's like he owes them money or something. The fact that he was getting sprayed by three enemies at once and still coming out alive was crazy as he managed to stay calm and outplay the enemy team with his movement. And in number 6 we have the first first person clutch coming from Fright from the Philippines surviving a chaotic ending in a tournament. <laughs> I'm going to reload. I'm going to reload that. 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 I'm Nice oh, 
I can read your mind right now and I'm sure most of you are saying Zara is using a Jack-12. It's like the easiest gun in the game. And yes, you're right, but he's playing in an official Garena tournament. So most of the players are using a Jack-12 to win. You either use it or die. But I was mostly impressed about his decision making under such pressure in a very small circle. When to push, when to retreat, and even using his rewind ability for the speed boost was on point. That combined with his fast reactions clutched a very hard and unexpected win for his team. Moving on to the top 5 and starting with Seborowski as he dominates a full squad with some crazy aim and even crazier movement. Other than the aim and movement, he was very confident here. Despite losing most of his health, he continued to fight, as most players in the same situation would most likely switch position or run away to heal up. Next, in number 4, we have Hitman from the Netherlands, staying calm under pressure and eliminating a top squad from the Middle East in a tournament. <laughs> We arrived to the top 3 starting with Gaz from Albania, deleting a full squad within 7 seconds on. <laughs> One of the things that I loved about this series is getting to know some skilled players and hidden talents from all around the world. As the second spot goes to Falcon from Malawi, living up to his name as he drops into his enemies from the sky in the final circle of a tournament, surprising his teammate while leaving the enemy players screaming in rage. Team of three versus one versus so it's three v one v one. Um. Okay. What the fuck was that? Why is that legal? What the fuck was that? Why is that legal? Bro, what the fuck was that? What was that? His decision to go in as soon as he realized they were busy fighting the other enemy was the key to win. That combined with the high accuracy that allowed him to wipe all of them with just one single mark. And finally in number 1 we have Tokyo, just doing some Tokyo things. Maintaining confidence while going against a full squad including a face to face encounter with a Goliath. The use of the rewind here was perfect. He avoided getting sandwiched at the bottom while gaining a speed boost. And he found himself in a 1v1 situation that allowed him to eliminate the first enemy easily. Then the slide and jump here was very crucial as he dodges a shotgun shot from the back. As well as dodging the bullets from the enemy in the front. All of that while remaining calm. And then a beautiful sniper shot to end the fight was just satisfying. Before I end the video I'll leave you with some honorable mentions that deserves to make it into today's video. Last video was mostly shotgun clutches. So it was great to see more SMG submissions in this one as it adds more variety to the video. So big thanks to all the players involved in this video. I added links to their channels in the description so you can check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did a like would be highly appreciated. And let me know in the comments which clutch was your favorite. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>
incoming. Oh, look, I'm on. Oh my god, that feels sick. And that feels sicker. <laughs>